From the 5 volt power supply that we wired up earlier, we're going to take these two wires and screw them into terminal 5 volts and ground. And we know that the red was the positive voltage, that's 5 volts, and the black is negative, and it also shows you here which is positive and negative. So the positive would be going to the 5 volts, and the negative will, will be going to ground. Since I will be placing the 5 volts probably in this area, I'm going to cut the wire with enough slack so I can reach these two terminals. For this board to also function, you need to connect the 5 volts to the EN terminal. I'll just use a small wire to do this. First the ground, and the 5 volts. I have the 5 volts wired to the 5 volt terminal. I have also the 5 volts wired to the enable terminal. And I have the ground wired to the ground terminal. I'm going to plug in the parallel cord into the back of the computer. And I'm going to test the pins in the breakout board. Just to make sure that I'm getting the correct output through the signal lines. The breakout board is essentially the same thing as the parallel port. It takes the pins from the parallel port and the, the cable and it distributes all of the pins to these terminals. There is some protection for the computer using resistors and the signals are also buffered using some integrated circuits. There are three main jumpers. The first jumper relates to the input or output for the first two through nine pins and this should be set as output because this will be used for motor output and output just means that the signal is coming from the computer and go out these pins. Inputs are signals coming from the machine in some way back to the computer and that is used to read some states that the machine will have. One example of reading from the machine would be the limit switches. The limit switches when triggered will either open or close the circuit and the breakout board is a way you can get that signal into the breakout board and into the cable into the computer so the computer can read that information. Okay so I plugged in the breakout board you can notice that there's a red light on that shows that I do have power and I am checking for voltage positive 5 volts and I see it which is good and now I'm going to check the pins 2, 3, and 4 to make sure that they're getting a good signal from the computer. And what I did is I, I set them for X, Y, and Z direction in Mach 3. So I'm going to use the number 2, the red, and then COM. And then I'm going to press the left and right arrow key. I get 5 volts when I press the left, and I get 0 when I press the right. So it's working. I'm going to try the same with number 3. Use the 3 and then the COM. Okay, I get a positive 5 on the down arrow and I got zero on the up arrow. Now I'm going to try number four which should be page down or page up. Page up I get zero, page down I get a positive five volts. So the breakout board is working as expected and I'm going to wire up one driver and then wire up a motor onto the driver to see if it works. So to see if the system is going to work, first I'm going to only hook up one driver to two of these pins. One of the pins is going to be for the step and another pin is going to be for the direction. I'm going to use number two for the step and number three for the direction. And I'm going to wire this to the driver and then I'm going to wire a motor to the driver and I will wire the 5 volts to the driver and then I'm going to wire the 36 volts to the driver. I'm going to measure an appropriate sized wire. I'll have a little bit of slack so I can get it inside of the terminals. Just for my own conventions I'm using orange for the signal wires and the pins to the drivers. I'll use blue wire for the voltage to the drivers. The number two pin, since it's going to be the step, it's the pulse on the driver. So I'm going to be putting that to PUL minus. Okay. And then I'm going to go to my number two pin.
one change that I am going to make, because I want to use these common terminals uh, for the 5 volts, I'm going to go ahead and change the jumper for com equals 5 volts, not com equals ground. So I'm going to change that jumper to 2 to 3 so I can make use of these other terminals. Now I'm going to connect the number 3 pin to the direction minus. That's connected, and now I'm gonna wire 5 volts to the pulse or step, 5 volts to the direction. I'm gonna use my blue wire for that. I've got two wires about the same length, so I can use the common terminal for both. I'll just wire those together. Alright, I'm gonna wire these together. Alright, and stick it into this comb. You might also notice when I strip them, I bend it here. That is so the insulation doesn't move while I'm doing this. Okay, so this end that's connected together goes into the common. Alright, now put this in the, in the pulse 5 volts. I may have made this wire a little too short, but that's alright. And then to the direction 5 volts. Okay, so my driver is wired for the signal pulse and the signal direction or the direction signal and the step signal. And I also have five volts wired to the plus five for the step and the plus five for the direction. Make sure all of the wires are pretty sturdy. And now we're gonna go to the wiring of the power supply to VCC plus and then ground. To add the 36 volt power to the driver, I'm gonna be wiring from the V plus and COM or V plus and ground here to the driver and it will be to the VCC plus here and ground. I'm gonna be using wire that has a little bit more thickness to it so it would be able to carry the amps that this motor and driver will draw. And I believe this is close to 16, maybe 18 gauge. So I'll be using that. The first thing, I'm going to also use uh, two different colors so I can distinguish between what is plus voltage and what is ground. Uh, the black will be for ground and the white will be for, for plus voltage. Make sure that you have the power supply off and unplugged before you do this since your hands will be close to the, the wall voltage. Okay, so now we have power to the driver. The only thing we need to do is connect the four motor wires.